para, 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 para. Got me feeling like para, 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 yeah. para, para. You guessed it, today's video is a collab. And go check out Jessica Lee. She actually created an amazing look, and there's a giveaway on her channel. So make sure you go ahead, subscribe, and follow her over there. And then you guys know her, Rose here on YouTube, Rose Kimberly, created a gorgeous look as always. And then we got someone new, Charmaine Dulac. I hope I said that right, but oh my goodness, look at how beautiful she is. Her editing is so on point. Go check them out, give them some love, and let's get started. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me um, in 120 and then potentially just like add some dark foundations that I have and um, hopefully get the perfect shade. And then I'm just going to take a beauty blender and apply that all over my skin. Um, I just use the rounded part of the beauty blender to just tap it in. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Micro uh, Brow Pencil. I love this stuff. It's amazing. And I'm going to use it just to fill in my eyebrows. I'm going to start at the kind of highest point of my eyebrow and just following the brow hairs and then I go into the center and kind of just make a line on the very very lowest part where my brow hairs are and then just start flicking upwards to make sure that my brows start looking at least like you know relatively natural. I go in with the elf eyelid primer and just kind of place that onto the center of my lid only a little bit and just blend it out all the way up to my brow bone. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a matte brown. I'm taking the Sonia Kashuk um, neutral matte palette and I'm actually going to go in with like these two colors kind of just blend them in and start creating um, a little bit of a shadow in the crease and I don't have to worry about the fact that that navy blue is super dark and super like intense. It's kind of going to help dilute the color and create a little bit more of a fade. Now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. smudge pot in Ocean Bound, which is a nice like navy blue and apply that all over my lid like a base and I'm going to be using a brush just to kind of pat it in and the brush I'm actually using is the Sedona Lace EB11. Take that product and really focus it on the center of my eye and then I'm going to blend it outwards towards the inner and outer kind of corners of my eye. And we're actually going to go ahead and use our ring finger to just blend it out. This is really going to help with the warmth of your finger to just diffuse the color as it reaches that crease. Um, neutral shade, and I'm going to take it actually on a more precise brush, something like this. You can see what I'm doing is actually just taking that brush and I'm starting at the outer corner. And I'm just going to use circular motions, but the important thing is when you're doing this, those circular motions, the circle goes towards your nose. So on my right eye, I'm doing um, counterclockwise, and then on my left eye, I'm doing clockwise. I'm going to go in with this palette from Maybelline, and this is actually called Smoky Night, and I'm going to be using this navy shade in here. I'm going to go in with a Real Techniques uh, shading brush, which is kind of small like this. And I'm going to take that color, pack it on really well and I'm going to start patting it in along the um, lash line. After you've patted that in, take the same blending brush that you we were using before and just kind of blend it. Blend it downwards this time. Start at the crease and bring it down. Now I'm going to go in with this Blue Jeans shade from NYX and these are amazing. These are their new uh, prismatic shadows. I absolutely love them. And so I'm going to take that same shader brush actually after cleaning it and apply that on the center of the eye. Now this is going to make the smoky eye come alive. It's going to be less flat and have more dimension because this does have a little bit of shimmer and the shimmer is really going to create that like pop on the center of the eye. This color I'm going to take is Frostbite which is actually a very very similar kind of effect. Um, it's a very shimmery shade. It has blue undertones which I really really love. It's more like a white like, or a silver with a blue undertone. And what I'm going to do is I take that same shader brush and just pat this on the very 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 center of the eye. I actually decided to pop on a little bit of Fix Plus and look at the difference it made. Like that is a huge huge difference. So I definitely recommend if you have like a setting spray or something along those lines just take it and spray a little bit onto the center of the brush and then what you're going to do is just pack it down the center is because I think this on its own is a really great look so if you suck at eyeliner and you don't want to do it don't do it just put on mascara with this and then follow the instructions that I give you for the lower lash line and you are good that is it that is all you need to do I'm just gonna go red white and blue so I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner alright so I'm gonna go ahead and use the white eyeliner just to line the 
normal part of my eye. I start at the center, kind of work my way inwards, and then we start working on the wing. And when you're starting to work on the wing, that's like the scariest part because normally it's like, oh my gosh, I can make or break this look. So I've kind of just come up with the idea that I just follow the lower uh, lash line where I have, and I just keep going straight. Like as if I was drawing a straight line, it was starting at my lash line, and then I just keep going. I go in with black, and this is a NYX matte black liner, and I'm going to go in and just align the like the thinner a little bit thinner than the white line. I'm following the not like a thickness of the black line but I'm trying to keep the white line the same thickness all around. So I think that mine is probably like two millimeters or three millimeters, probably two millimeters. Um, so I am keeping it even. I don't care that the black line might be a little thicker in some areas and thinner in some areas because my false eyelashes and my mascara will cover that up. All I want is that white line to be about the same thickness all around, especially on both eyes. Now if you look at me right now, you can see that there's this inner corner right here where the white is. Um, I'm not really liking the way that that looks because it looks messy. So I'm going to go in with the black liner and just fix that really quick. So, Alright, so now I'm going to go in and do concealer. I have my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, I have the shade number 10, which I'm going to use... I'm using the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk from NYX. I'm going to take a small shader brush and I'm going to apply that in the inner corner just to brighten up the eye. Same color that we used before and buff that in on the um, lower lash line, like right here. I'm going to go in with the Super Sizer from CoverGirl and coat my lower lash line. Now I'm going to go in and line my lips with a black lip liner, and yes, I said black lip liner. Basically, I wanted a very gradient kind of effect on my lips, and I wanted a really dark edge. And so I went in with a black uh, lip liner, or you could even use an eyeliner, really no difference. And I just took a Q-tip, or like a lip brush, and smudged it. Then I'm going in with a Merle Norman um, color. By the way, all the lip colors and all the products I use today will be listed down below. But I took that, and it's more of like a matte shade, but it's very nice and pigmented with red. So I applied that on the kind of middle part, going from the black towards like the center of my lip. And then on the very center of the lip, I used a Shiseido lip color, which is actually so amazing because it is so glossy and it really helps give dimension to the lips exactly what I wanted that gradient effect that doesn't make that red lip too intense especially with a really bright eye you really want to kind of tone that down so I went ahead and did the hair very simple I just did half up half down situation um, it's one of my favorite things to do and all I did was just take my half up part bobby pin that in and then choose random sections of hair and I made a braid there it's super simple it's really boho very edgy um, so pick random strands of hair you can choose however many you want or where you want them and just braid them or like I don't know twist them do anything crazy you want with them and it just gives kind of texture to the hair so it's not just a normal half up half down instead you have little peeps of like braids and like it just gives that edgy kind of like dreadlock effect but not really dreads I don't know those are really cool though but um, I love the hair and I actually think that I'm gonna be wearing it a lot more often like this during the summer it really helps um, make it look very edgy without like effort <laughs> I really don't like effort with my hair and especially in the summer like you know when you get your, your hair gets a little more frizzy throughout the day um, this makes it look like it actually was like meant to be that way so I love it I hope you guys enjoy it as well if you do try it out send me a picture I would love to see it and then as for outfits I'm giving you guys three options the first one right here is from Target like basically except for the top the top is from Topshop the shorts are from Target and the shoes are from Target I absolutely love it because it's so casual so like cute the pockets on the shorts are so like American flag so they kind of make it seem like the 4th of July then this outfit the top is from Windsor and the skirt is from Target and the shoes I actually bought at TJ Maxx but the skirt is super flowy I love it but the top is lacy and it's awesome you can wear it under shirts and it's just really cute it's a crop top absolutely in love with it now the third outfit is also very casual um, I feel like it's more kind of barbecue appropriate but the dress is called like a sorority dress from Windsor and the kimono top is actually from TJ Maxx it is a really really glorious outfit because I love the fact that the dress actually has pockets I hope you guys have a fun and safe 4th of July bye